like to ask this question again for clarity's sake. Yes. You, if you, could you please give us the names of the three lawyers that the clients, that is the uh, uh, Seco and Co, never wanted, but the government apparently, from what you have said, imposed on them? You have Chief Ngote Abia. Mm -hmm. You have Mokem Format. And you have Luisa Songwe. Okay, those are the lawyers that the government assigned to okay. the interim government. All attempts by for us to join them inside said to help in the interrogation were thwarted by government by, by the by the military. Mm -hmm. they Is didn't it didn't want us to come anywhere near them. Okay, which means that if they didn't want you people to come near them, you are insinuating that or your clients that these lawyers are in league or supported by the government. Oh yes. Oh yes, the, cl the clients have said so through their families. They have said that they don't want to treat with them anymore because they started treating with them, and before they realized that they were they were they were they were they were uh, corrupt. Uh, somehow working for the government, they decided now by themselves that they are not going to work with them. Right now, interrogation has some has since ceased. They don't want to see them. Okay, now that the interrogation has ceased, do you and your you and your team do you have the possibility to carry on, or you are still being obstructed our by the government? Our names are, 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 are with the commissary governor. Our names are with the colonel. Anytime they want to start the interrogation, they ask the the, the, the tenis, They will call. They will call us. You call it people, and we will continue. Okay. But uh, we are not. We we look. I have to be very frank here. I have to listen to the appeal. There's a deadline for the appeal. Filing is five days before. Hearing is within ten days after filing. So when we finish with that, they want to continue with the interrogation, and they want the the lawyers that the the detainees want. They will call us mm -hmm. and we'll continue. And, and continue. we are not only four of us, we are many, uh, we are constituting a legal team. Exactly. But for the meantime, we'll be four of us. But when the matter goes to the military tribunal, we are going to be a team of about 35 lawyers 15 from the southwest, 15 from the northwest, and two from, from Douala and three from Yaoundé. Oh, okay. Now, another question for a naive legal mind like mine, like me is. No, you're, and, not, you're not naive, you're a journalist. Uh, we, we were speaking with others. They said, but why is it that? It was at the Fundi Court of First Instance that... No, Fundi, Fundi High Court. Fundi High Court. Yes, not okay. Court of First Instance. Not Court of First Instance, all right. This it's, procedure it's specific to the High Court. To the High Court. Yes. It is in the Fundi High Court because of the place of, of detention. Mm -hmm. It could have been in Abuja or the place of arrest. It's either in the place of arrest... Or the place of detention. Or detention. And now the other question which we would like uh, people like to have clarity is that uh, Barista Keremuna earlier this year tweeted, or uh, yes, on social media, that his chambers was uh, a one of the designa designated law firms to defend the uh, the client, uh, the interim government. Mm. Was it honest on his part, or? It was a kind of that mistake the, he made. That's the dishonesty of, of all the politicians I know. Most politicians are generally dishonest because they want fame. Let me tell you, Luisa came into this file because his uncle, Professor Awasum, is one of the detainees. But after, uh, uh, the long and short of it, that even her, her uncle does not want to see her. Because they are, they are, they are together, the ten are together, they are speaking the same language. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. How Muna should know that mm. these detainees have never asked them, that law firm, to come and defend them. They have asked for a Tabison, they have asked for Sama in Bamenda, but they have never asked for the Muna law firm. They have asked for the Muna law firm. Yeah, so whatever uh, Akira Muna was tweeting, that is his business. And I'd like to clarify something. Ngute, Chief Ngute Abia, informed us that they went and were asking the detainees for fees. And information getting to us from the family is that they were asking those people to pay them 30 million francs. Who were asking for 30 million francs? Uh, the, 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 the three lawyers, 
that's Luisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I told myself, I just told them, I just told Ngote that since you people were, since you people were hired by government, go to government and ask for your fees. We are doing pro bono work. What we are working, we are working for free. As you saw me like that, I'm not being paid anything. Even my expenses, this time I had to borrow to get to Yaoundé. Okay. But they will pick up, somebody will pick up those expenses. But I'm not being paid a fee, I'm working for free. All of us, all of us who are constituting to defend this, this leader, we are not asking for fees from anybody. From anybody. Now, the question that other Southern Cameroonians and Cameroonians in general are asking is, you who are defending him currently in the legal team, is there any hope that they can be freed or that they can be tried one day? Good question. I am not naive to think that this government, these courts in this country will rule for us and have the leaders released. I'm not that naive. But we are, we are laying the groundwork for an international forum.